your news on the go with breaking news. It's been a very busy overnight for first responders. As Syracuse firefighters battled back-to-back -back blazes, Syracuse police now investigating back-to-back -back shootings. Overnight, gunfire erupting on the east side. First, one man shot in the stomach near Kinney's on James Street. He's now stable. Then right before we went on air, police racing to another shooting on Niven Street near Salt Springs. That same neighborhood is also where two firefighters were hurt while battling a blaze yesterday. They are expected to be okay. We're also following a fire that broke out in off-campus housing near SU. Four students now being helped by the Red Cross. Route 5 in Elbridge is back open for your morning commute, but overnight a crash had it closed for hours. The call going out right after 11 last night at the intersection of Route 5 and Hamilton Road. That's right near Ballywick Market and Cafe. As of now, the extent of any injuries for this crash, not known. A popular clay corridor has just lost a major chain. Outback Steakhouse is now closed on Route 31. If you have a gift card to Outback, you can use it at their local sister restaurants, Carabas Italian Grill and Bonefish Grill, both of which you can find in Fayetteville. If you're heading to the fair today, good news for your wallet. It is $2 Tuesday at the Midway, meaning rides are just 2 bucks. It's also Tasty Tuesday, so vendors are serving up some of your fair favorites at a discounted price when it comes to fair admission. It's Fire, Rescue, and EMS Day at the State Fair, which means any active or retired member can go through the gates for free. Just make sure you bring the photo ID 